behind you guys is something that I cannot show you. It is out of this world, over the top, awesome. We're gonna be unboxing that today and unleashing him in his new tank. He's a beast. And uh, we got this thing, so I want, I want you guys to get a good look at what I bought today. He's in here, and guess what? There's newspaper there for a reason, because this thing's a killer. Let's open this up. He's so sick. I cannot wait to do feedings with this guy. There he is. Okay, he's in. Look at that. What's going on, fish guys? Feels good to be back uploading videos for you guys, being back in the game, man. I took a three week break because I got COVID and there was a lot of stuff going on and I it just feels so good to be back. Thank you guys so much for all the comments I got on my Instagram, my community post, and my past YouTube video congratulating me and Brooke for finally getting engaged. Yes, guys, me and Brooke are getting engaged, baby. And it feels good. I'm stoked. Now she's stuck with me for life. And guess what that means, guys? She's gonna be appearing in more videos because you know what? She's my fiance and she will get more screen time. So do not, do not get worried ladies and gents, Brooke will be on screen very soon. Woo! But guys, I wanted to show you really quick, oh, by the way, by the way guys, first thing, I'm gonna be limited to literally filming either, standing right here. You know why? Because behind you guys is something that I cannot show you. I can't show you, I cannot show you yet. Uh, it's right in front of me, I'm looking at it. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, it is amazing, it is ridiculous, it is out of this world, over the top, awesome. And guess what? I can't turn this camera around right now until you guys see the official reveal on Barbara's Buzzin. That's just a little hint, stay tuned. Go to Barbara's Buzzin and turn your notification bells on on Barbara's Buzzin because you're not gonna wanna miss what I'm uh, what I'm looking at right now. I'm not gonna lie guys, it is sexy. I might have to propose to whatever's in front of me right now. I might have to get engaged to, uh, to this thing in front of me as well. Cause man, she's bad. I cannot wait to show you guys, man. I can't wait, dude, I'm sorry. That was a little weird, but I'm a little hyped right now, okay? But I also wanted to show you guys really quick my two favorite fish in my saltwater mini pond right here, these guys, and how the snapping turtle's doing. Now I'm gonna show you guys my two favorite fish and the reason why they're my two favorite fish. They're so cool in here and I cannot, cannot wait to get bigger ones. Cause man, when I tell you guys, I, I'm, I'm giving away too many details, you know? I can't, I gotta zip the lip, close the key, throw it away. Cause you guys just gotta be patient and wait. Cause man, it is nice. And so anyway, that off that topic, I'm gonna show you guys my two favorite fish in here. They're absolutely beasts and I love them. And guys, I just came back from the store and picked up the thing that I'm putting in my nano saltwater tank upstairs. My, oh, it's so cool. Well, guys, I cannot wait to show you. It's gonna be epic. I, I just picked it up from the store, just got home, and uh, we're gonna be unboxing that today and unleashing him in his new tank. He's a beast. I can't wait to show you guys. We've got big plans for that upstairs area and big plans what I'm looking at right now. So let me show you guys my two favorite fish in my saltwater mini pond. You guys are gonna love them. All right, guys, we don't have uh, Fish Girl Brooke behind the camera today. We have Fish Guy Hack. He always makes it a classic video. Yeah. And uh, we got this thing, so I want, I want you guys to get a good look at what I bought today. He's in here, and guess what? There's newspaper there for a reason, because this thing's a killer. So we're gonna leave him here for now, put him safely in the box, because I'm gonna show you guys my two favorite fish in the saltwater pond. It's actually Jack's two favorite fish as well. So, first things first, we got this dope wrasse. I didn't think I was gonna like him at all, but he is the coolest fish in here. The wrasse that swims on top, he's like blue and white. He is so dope. The reason why I like him is because he stays at the surface of the water and literally comes out of the water. Fish guy hack tries to feed him like and pick him up because he will swim right in your hand. And the grouper, my second favorite fish, comes right out and he actually bit Jack's hand the other day. So we're gonna give both of these guys a feed, but look at the uh, wrasse right here. When I try to feed it. It'll come right up to me and eat right pretty much from my hand. Look at that. Literally eating right from my hand. That is why I love that fish. Absolutely sick fish. Comes right up to the surface. He's a beast, dude. Exactly. He doesn't even have a name yet, so. He's a fast little dude. Drop some names down in the comments for that rash, because I'm keeping him forever. I don't care if he gets two feet long, I'm keeping him. We need some names for him. Now the grouper, since he sees the rass eating, he gets a little jealous. He likes to hide up underneath that rock. He's a V-tail grouper. He likes to hide up underneath that rock and just peek his head out. Once I drop these uh, juicy shrimps, because remember, you guys haven't seen these things in a while. So I've been feeding them and they've been getting used to me. So maybe we can hand feed them. Maybe. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a longer piece. We can maybe hand feed this guy. Let's try. We're probably gonna have to get him fired up a bit for, with one shrimp. So once he sees that, he'll come out and he'll be a little more comfortable, but we gotta just get him fired up. See? All right, so he sees the shrimp. There he goes, there he goes. He smokes that one. Let's we'll see if we can get him to hand feed. Cause once again, I'm gonna grow these guys out for uh, something very special, which I can't talk about, but this guy is a little beast. Let's see, he thought about it for a second. Look at the giant crab over here, dude. He smells the he smells the shrimp. That thing is so hilarious. Just the world's biggest hermit crab. You gotta give him a piece of shrimp as well. So the pond is thriving. Oh, here's the grouper. Here's the grouper. Drop it. Oh, he ate the one on the bottom. I'm just gonna go, just go make it rain in here with shrimp. Cause everybody's gotta eat, man. Everybody's gotta eat. 
See? He yeah. comes out quick and smokes them. There's the world's biggest hermit crab in the back there. There he goes. He's gonna find the shrimp. There's the puffer. Pepe the puffer. There you go, guys. There you have it. Literally, that, that crab is scary, honestly. He's hairy and just weird. <laughs> He's so weird. Oh, oh there's, there's the grouper. grouper. Such a beast. So there you have it, guys. The grouper, the puffer, the giant crab, the arrow crab. Everything's thriving in there. It's fantastic. I just did a water change on this pond, and everything is freaking thriving. It's amazing. So this is going to be one of our grow outs. We got uh, this 300-gallon grow out, which is going to be really, really helpful. Because uh, we want them to get very large. Now, we got to feed uh, my homie over there that you guys haven't seen in a minute, but you know, he's a sad guy. All right, Mr. Snapping Turtle, the Iron Giant. Where is thou? And the Marble Acara catfish that I actually have in here is actually doing very well. Also, he's coming out. He's got, once he smells the shrimp, they're all gonna come out just running towards it. So here's the Marble Acara right here. You see him? Right down there. Yeah, he likes to hide under that log. But the koi steal all the shrimp, so what are you gonna do? Here's the Snapping Turtle under the log right here. My boy, Iron Giant. Come on, you gotta work for this, bro. He doesn't wanna eat today, but he's over there. Look at it. Oh, my shrimp. He did not want to hand feed today. Probably because I fed him yesterday. So let's unbox our new uh, kill because he's gonna be up. All right, guys, the fish guy glass cube is making an appearance because we're finally gonna see this guy go into his new tank today. We may feed him at the end of the video, but uh, I don't know if he'll eat right away, so we may have to save that for something else. But this guy, I had to pre-order and he officially made it. Now, I have a bunch of ideas of what we're gonna do up on the loft uh, with all the tanks, and this is the first addition to the loft. So I'm stoked about it, and we need some badass names for this dude in the comments. So here we go. Now, I got uh, this bag has. Like I said earlier, this bag has a uh, newspaper for, for a very specific reason, because you don't want this guy to get you, because it will hurt very bad. Let's open this up. He's so badass in there. He's sick. He's sick. I cannot wait to do feedings with this guy. I'm holding this thing up with my leg. Look, look at this Look at this stance. Back up and look, <laughs> look at this stance right now. <laughs> this is why I, I, I had to get rid of the table because of a very specific reason, reason over there. So I, I had to get rid of the table here, so now I gotta use my leg. Let's get him in. There he is. Okay, he's in. Look at that. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Look how sick that thing is. This is a spearing mantis shrimp. Spearing. So, it's not the one with the clubs. We've had the one with the clubs before. In the past, look, I'm just dancing around in there. These things are incredibly smart. And he's got two little spears right under his, his torso that he'll spear the fish. Literally, he'll go like this and spear the fish with it. Maybe we'll watch some videos of, of some spearing mantis shrimps. Mantis shrimps, but they are so damn cool. He's got two little spears tucked up right underneath his torso. And you guys are probably saying, oh, you didn't get the colorful peacock one. That is for another tank upstairs. So I'm gonna get two nano tanks next to each other. It's gonna be the mantis shrimp Ta tank setup. Double mantis shrimp tank setup. One spearing and one punching peacock. So this guy, these guys are incredibly smart. They got really good vision and they're so badass. Now I think we go upstairs. Can you see him from up top? Let's see him from up top. Look how sick that thing is. That thing's crazy. Actually crazy. So cool. We need some badass names. He needs yeah. some good names. Now the thing about these guys is you get pricked by the this thing, he'll stab you, and he's got barbs on the end of his spears. Uh, and another cool thing is, once a year in Florida, when the shrimp, it's called the shrimp run, there's a million shrimp in the inlet, like all over in the canals. And Jack goes and scoops up a bunch of shrimp, and they're really good eating. And you can actually scoop up shrimp and catch these things, like big like eight inch mantis shrimp. So maybe we'll give that a try, because now's the season to go shrimping. Because one of Jack's friends actually caught a big one of these. I don't know how big it was, but they ate it. They ate the mantis shrimp. So we're not gonna eat this guy, we're gonna get him in his tank set up. Let's see him really cool with that light on. Let's see him in there. All right, guys, our brand new mantis shrimp. Who's gonna be killing a lot of things recently? Now I'm looking from up top. Cause we got that brown wood underneath. That thing's gonna be wild, dude. The feedings that we're gonna do on this thing. If you guys haven't followed me on TikTok, go follow the fish guys on TikTok. He's gonna be a star on there. A star. All right, I would grab him with my hand, but then I would probably lose a finger. So we're gonna scoop him out with a net and get him in his tank. Let's go. There is our brand new mantis killer, baby. He's just swimming around. Once he finds this rock right here, he'll uh, probably go underneath it and make a little burrow up there. All right, let's roll a clip of our sick ass mantis shrimp. Let's do it. in there chilling. This is his setup right now. He's got a rock. We need some uh, suggestions in the comments of what we should feed him first. We could do fish, shrimp, crabs, literally anything. He'll kill everything. It's gonna be epic. But he's looking good in his new 
tank setup, baby. Our new mantis shrimp is gonna be loving life very soon when I get him some food. We gotta get some good suggestions, guys. I wanna see some battles with this thing. And, and especially, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be even more epic, especially when I get his brother, the peacock punching mantis shrimp, right next to him. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna have to put a divider, though. They're not allowed to see each other because they'll probably wanna fight each other. So hopefully soon I can get that new nano, another nano tank and another mantis shrimp. I'm probably gonna have to pre order this one again, another one, because um, they're absolute savages. And I'm stoked that we finally got them. And upstairs, Sticking with that theme, I may just get a bunch of really rare, aggressive, cool things that can't be in tanks with other things. They have to be in their own tank. That's what I might do upstairs. That might be the theme of upstairs. Just have a row. We'll call it Killer Row. And just have like 10 nano tanks with each with like things that have to be by themselves. Like Mantis Shrimp, Octopus, etc. Stuff like that. Stuff that's entertaining for you guys and absolutely epic. That's what we want to do. Hopefully soon I can show you what's uh, behind the camera here. I cannot wait to show you. I'm stoked. Stay tuned on this channel. We're going to be doing a lot of behind the scenes, in-depth stuff which with, uh, with what's right in front of me. And I can't wait to finish it and show you guys. It's going to be a masterpiece. We're gonna get some dope stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Stay tuned for regular scheduled uploading from Fish Guy Chris. I'm back. Love you guys. See you in the next video.